Welcome back to the College Coding Show. On today's episode, we're making pulled pork, but not just any pulled pork, we're gonna infuse it with some Death Wish coffee. That's right, the world's strongest coffee. Your coffee game, it's probably trash at this point. You're drinking four or five cups, it's not doing anything to you. That's no problem though. The good people at Death Wish coffee, the world's strongest coffee, are here to help. They're here to get you the fuck off the couch. All you gotta do is go to deathwishcoffee.com slash barstool sports. You can enter to win a bike, ride down the road, caffeinated. Barstool sports merch, always a win. A year supply of Death Wish coffee, that's a hell of a lot of caffeine. On top of that, some Death Wish cold brew. Nothing better than a nice cold brew. All you gotta do is go to deathwishcoffee.com slash barstool sports to win. All right, let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. All right guys, pulled pork. This is one of the first things I ever learned how to cook. It's one of the easiest things to cook. It's very forgiving. It's really hard to fuck this up. All you're gonna need, we're gonna make a dry rub first. Pretty basic, brown sugar, chili powder, a little garlic powder, onion powder mix, some salt, and then I'm gonna blend up. Look, I got these whole roasted beans of Death Wish coffee. Now, your standard cup of coffee has about 90 milligrams of caffeine. Death Wish, 300. That's, if my math is correct, triple of the amount of caffeine. So that's a fuck ton of caffeine. Look at this, warning label. How many coffees come with a warning label? The world's strongest coffee does. Lift it up quick. Now this is all that's gonna go into a bowl. Our coffee, our brown sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder. And that's it, that's our rub and a little bit of salt. You can't forget the salt. I'm just using some coarse kosher salt. Just mix it all up. And we're also gonna be making a barbecue sauce. So this is actually gonna be the base. We're not gonna use all of it on our pork. We're gonna use some of it as the actual sauce itself. So that's your dry rub, very simple, very basic, nothing too technical. Really, you can put mostly any rub on a pork shoulder and you're gonna cook it for seven hours, it's gonna taste phenomenal either way. So don't, too, don't worry too much about what you do or don't have for your rub, you can play with it. Just make sure you have some brown sugar and chili powder, that's really a good base. So now, let's talk about this quick. There's two different cuts you can get. You can get what's called a pork shoulder and what's called a pork butt. Now, a pig walks like this on all fours. The shoulder is actually this part and it comes in with a bone, usually there's usually a bone in it. The butt is actually the top, what you associate with an actual shoulder of like a human. The butt is ideal, is what you really want when you're making pulled pork. You can use the shoulder, but ideally you're gonna have that butt. And we're gonna take that rub now, just make sure it's all blended together nicely. Put that right onto our pork, just rub it in, get your meat nice and coated. You really wanna pack that in, get all sides of it. Don't worry if you spill, no big deal. Just make sure you leave about I don't know, a cup's worth of rub in the bowl just because we're gonna use that for our sauce. And then we're just gonna put that into a cooking tray and we're gonna line it simple. I'd take an apple, quarter it basically. Apple goes in, garlic, chop it right in half. That goes in our tray too. And then an onion, red, white, again, whatever you have lying around. Quarter it just like the apple, that goes in too. Now that's gonna be our bed. That's gonna keep the pork elevated right off the bottom of the tray and there's a lot of, there's aromatics in there. The sweetness from the apple, you're gonna get a really nice depth of flavor that way while it roasts in the oven for you know, seven hours. And then pork right on top. And bang, that's all there is to it. Now this, we're gonna whack this in the oven. 285, like six and a half, seven hours is perfect. Keep it tented with tin foil. Uh, for the majority of the cooking, in the last hour I like to take the tin foil off so you can kind of get that nice bark, that nice char on it. If you're smoking it, even better. I mean, that's where you can really get that bark, that char on the outside. But if not, an oven is fine. You can use a slow cooker too, but then you're really not gonna get any kind of char on the outside, any crust, any bark. So I prefer to use the oven. Uh, but if you don't have any other option, slow, cook slow cooker will work. So this is a good thing to do first thing in the morning, pop it in, don't do anything all day. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna do its thing, it's gonna smell great in the kitchen. And then by the time you come back ready for like late afternoon, it'll be perfect, ready to go. All right, pork's in the oven. Let's talk about barbecue sauce. Making your own sauce is like so ridiculously easy and I think it tastes so much better that you're almost dumb not to at least try it. All you're gonna need is like that leftover half a cup, three quarter of a cup of the, the rub, same rub we use for the pork. I'm gonna infuse it with some more Death Wish coffee. This is gonna be like a caffeinated fucking buzz your face off barbecue sauce. We're gonna use the Death Wish cold brew. Let's pop it open right now. I've already had three of these today, can you tell? Just get your sugar, spice mix, get your rub in the pan. Why is that smoke? We're gonna put in, I'll put all the measurements in the description, don't worry. I've made this sauce so many times I can kind of eye it out now. Just enough vinegar, just enough vinegar to kind of cover it. Just what you want. I also like my sauces more vinegary, so it's kind of up to you how much vinegar you want to use. I do prefer that 
kind of rawness that you get from a vinegar based barbecue sauce. Give that a stir just until that sugar starts to dissolve. Uh, this is a new hot plate so I'm just fudging in with heat a little bit. But a lot of, like medium heat is what you want to do. You don't want anything to start burning. And then the Worcestershire sauce can go in there too. Let that come up to a bubble. So now once it starts to bubble up I just pour it into a bowl and I'm going to strain it all through a coffee filter now. Just because we use some uh, coffee grinds in the actual rub and if we leave that in the sauce you're going to have that just kind of graininess of the, the, the grinds in there. To avoid having to do this step though, just keep the coffee separate from the rub when you make it so that way we can still use a leftover rub for our sauce and we don't have to worry about doing the straining process. Probably should have thought of that beforehand but this works too. Don't worry, you can always innovate your way out of situations. This will get all the grinds out. Bang, so now we have all that flavor. Honestly, we, now we have double the coffee flavor here because we kind of just almost did a quick brew on that coffee. And look at that, we have a deep base for our barbecue sauce. And then we're gonna add some Death Wish cold brew just to add a little bit more coffee flavor, a little bit more kick. It's gonna thin our sauce out too. And then, ketchup. We're basically just putting in enough ketchup to thicken our sauce. So, depending on how much you're gonna make, that looks about right to me. And look at this. Now we're just left with a simple, fantastic mm. barbecue sauce. Wow, that's really good. Now, I always like a little bit of kick in my barbecue sauce, so to do that, I'm just gonna add just a hint, oh, we're jumping around a little bit, just a hint of cayenne pepper to add a little bit of kick in that sauce. Don't have to go crazy with it, but it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be there, you'll taste it. Now, our pork's been going seven hours now. I'm gonna take it out, let's have a look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. We have all these onions and, and apples and garlic that have been roasting alongside that. Watch, this is how we're gonna finish off our sauce. Get yourself a sieve on top of the bowl, and then just go in there. I should use tongs, that shit's hot. I'm learning. Go in there with an onion, you grab an apple, especially some of that garlic. You can take some of that, just squeeze some of those cloves into that. Oh, fantastic. Grab a spoon, squish. Get all those juices from those vegetables into our sauce, and that's really gonna take it to the next level. You're gonna have all those beautiful, rich flavors from roasting that oven for seven hours. Just scrape the bottom. Mmm, mm, fantastic. And you can taste that coffee, that Death Wish coffee is right there, really taking it up a notch. All right, man, now this is the money shot. This is the finale. My favorite part, though, making pulled pork, is the pull. The garlic, you can give it one more squeeze, but make sure you get most of it out, get all the skins out. But I like to leave some of those onions in there and just pull the onions with my pork. Up to you, you don't have to. And we're, leave, we're leaving all the cooking juices in the tray. I like pulling it right into there and then tossing it about. It should just melt apart. Look at that, it just falls apart. Well, to your liking, I quite like it kind of chunky, more rustic. To each his own on that one. Just pour that fresh barbecue sauce right on top. Yep. Look at how phenomenal that looks. Mm. I mean, melt in your mouth, the fish is so juicy, so tender. It's hard to fuck up pulled pork. It's hard not to like pulled pork. Pulled pork sandwiches, that's the easiest. You put on little slider buns. This is perfect for a cookout. It's summertime now. Just feeds a whole group of people. You can save it for leftovers. Put some lime juice in it. Now you have nice tacos, a little fresh salsa on top. There's endless possibilities. You put this in a quesadilla. Really, the list goes on and on. But I just like to eat it straight up sometimes. Mm. I mean, it's that fucking good. Guys, this is so easy to do. You can't fuck it up. And Death Wish Coffee, you can take it to the next level. Make some pork. Drink some Death Wish. We'll see you next time. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace.